Hey, welcome back to the shop, guys. Um, let's take another quick look at this Milwaukee pump because it is truly an impressive pump. And there seems to be a lot of questions out there on whether or not it really will pump oil or will it pump diesel or, you know, does, does the impeller go bad or, you know, does it pump gear oil? That's another question. Um, so I've had this pump for quite some time, you know, and I use it to work on tractors and I use it a lot and I've pumped hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of gallons of oil and hundreds of gallons of diesel fuel probably. I've even pumped um, um, contaminated diesel tanks for the customer, whether it's a rental company or whatever. There's been a few accidents where people put gasoline in their diesel tanks. So I've actually pumped out um, high concentrations of uh, gasoline out of diesel tanks, right? And um, I got some comments where they're like, well, you got to flush the pump out when you're done using it if you got oil or diesel in there with warm, soapy water. And I, I did that once or twice, but I'm working on tractors in the middle of the desert. Where the hell am I going to get warm, soapy water? And I'm, I'm too lazy. It's not lazy. I'm just too damn busy. So I just cap off the lines and I leave whatever was in there in there. You know, that, that impeller is bathing in the oil or diesel fuel, the last thing I pumped, it just stays in there and it, and it holds up just fine. Um, and so I was like, well, why are people saying that the impeller is gonna come apart? And I was like, well, you think about it, um, I did a long, hard, painstaking search on the internet, it took about two minutes, and found out that Milwaukee is actually building these pumps with nitrile uh, impellers. And nitrile has an excellent resistance to um, oil and fatty type chemicals. Now, not strong chemicals like acids and stuff like that. Well, that would be more of like an EDM style impeller, right? And your cheaper water pumps would probably come with like a natural rubber impeller. I think um, I got one from Harbor Freight and um, it just uses a natural rubber and it deteriorated really quick, came apart. And, um, and then like your, um, Let's say your boat, right? Your outdrive, you put an impeller in your um, boat outdrive, a water pump, right? That would be like a neoprene style impeller um, that's good for water and seawater and stuff like that, but not necessarily a um, oil resistance like the nitrile, right? Um, so let's take a look at this impeller real quick. Um, so I knew I was going to be pumping um, oils and diesel fuel and stuff like that. I mean, and, and I'm not the only one doing it. I'm part of a lot of um, mechanic type field service groups on the internet, right? And there's a lot of us dumbass mechanics out there that have bought this pump and we don't care what the box says. Yeah, Bubba is supposed to pump water oil. God, or if it pumps water, it's going to pump engine oil, right? Or whatever the hell I want to pump with it. That's just the way we are. If it's going to pump, we're going to try it, right? So. Um, yeah, you just pull that top off and look right here, this little glass, and that's real glass. That's not polycarbonate or some type of plastic. That's real glass. That holds up well against chemicals as too. Um, and then there's a also a nitrile O-ring around there for that glass. And then we're going to pull the impeller out. It just slides right out, but remember which way your veins are going. So when you put it back together, um, it'll work again. But <coughs> Yeah, the impeller just slides right out, still covered in oil from last time I used it. But, so yeah, I was a little worried, you know, after reading the comments, I was like, well, this thing's not gonna hold up long and I love it so much. So I went ahead and bought another impeller thinking that I'm gonna have to change it out, right? <clears throat> but here's the original impeller, guys, and, and there is absolutely no sign of deterioration, no sign of swelling. Um, it, it's it's like new. I can put up next to the the brand new one that I haven't even put in it yet, and you can't tell a difference. I mean, it's it's holding up great. This has had a lot of oil, a lot of um, diesel, and and you know contaminated diesel with gasoline through it, and um, and it's holding up great. So even if I had to put a new one in it, and it costs me thirty, sixty extra dollars a year because I think the impellers are like thirty dollars, it's still well worth it to me. As much time. This saves me and the convenience of it. Oh, it's amazing. So to put it back in, you just give it a slight twist in the direction that those impellers were. And it just slides right back over the shaft. So 
even if you damage your impeller, you know, five minutes, you can uh, you can have a new one put in there, right? And also in my groups, although I haven't done it, but um, there is a guy that claims he has pumped, let's see, uh, thousands of gallons of two-stroke gas with his Milwaukee pump. And I, I know, I know there's, I know you safety guys, and I don't know, we all use common sense safety, right? I know you safety guys are out there, oh my God, you can't pump gasoline through that pump. You're gonna, it's gonna catch on fire, it's gonna explode, you're gonna kill the whole neighborhood, and then, you know, and a whole uh, group of rabbits and gonna die in children's hospital or what? Just, whatever, man. Pump whatever the hell you want to it. They're just a little common sense safety. We pump gas every day into our cars, right? But anyways, back to it he says he pumps thousands of gallons of two-stroke oil or two-stroke gas um i'm like who the hell pumps thousands of gallons of two-stroke gasoline well it turns out he uh, winterizes boats you know at the end of the season boats and jet skis so that's one thing that he does is he pumps out the tanks of these watercraft and uh that's all two-stroke oil and he says he's never had a problem with his impeller it pumps gasoline just fine and he doesn't flush his out either what he says and i have no doubt to claim you know his claims because as much stuff as I've pumped through here I have had zero problem with this nitrile impeller but I do have an extra one just in case so hopefully that clears that up um, you know when we also got aluminum housing here you know and all our gear pumps and stuff pumping hydraulic oils aluminum so the nitrile aluminum housing it it holds up great very oil resistant so like I said hopefully that answers some questions about that because it's like Milwaukee knew. It's like they predicted the future. Well, if we design a pump for water, I know these <laughs> damn grease monkey, damn knuckle dragon, dumbass mechanics is going to go out there and try to pump oil in them, and they're going to be, you know, it's not going to work. The impeller's going to go bad. We're going to get bad reviews. We're not going to sell any more pumps. But Milwaukee built a very solid product. They don't advertise it for oils, but it works great for oils. Um, so the next question we had was, well, will it pump gear oil? You know, because... I don't want to pump if it can't pump gear oil, right? Well, it depends on, you know, all our different situations. So, yes, I have pumped a lot of gear oil into differentials and stuff, but mostly I pump diesel, engine oil, hydraulic oils with this. Um, so, let's try it out. I want to show you some things about pumping gear oil with this pump. Um, you say, I've got my heater going. So, it's cold out here and this oil has been stored outside. This is gear oil. You know it's gear oil because I wrote right here on the outside, SAE 80W90. And it is really cold oil. I mean, I'm thinking probably, let's just give it benefit of the doubt and say this is 35, 40 degree um, 80W90. And these are the hoses I like to use. These are like washing machine hoses, right? And they, they work really good, but they're 3 8 um, inside diameter on these hoses. So using a 3 8 hose in cold gear oil yeah, well, let's just take a look and see what it does okay so i've already got that hose in it's going to take a second to prime i can see it coming through now and there it comes you can tell that is not a very strong stream of oil coming out of there and one thing I also want you to notice is the color of this oil it's kind of a white um, it's real frothy it's real aerated so let's take a look inside the pump you know, hopefully you can see inside there see how white it is it's coming out on this side well what's happening is this cold oil it, it's it's like a restriction um, the pump can't pull it into it fast enough so the pump is actually cavitating and when it cavitates well cavitation is not good in any pump but it's also aerating that oil and it's real yeah milky frothy color um, so when you're pumping cold thick oil we need to change your suction hose out to a bigger hose and I found that a half inch um, ID hose works much better 
So um, give me just a minute and let's, um, I'm gonna swap out um, this 3 8 hose with a half inch ID hose and um, show you the difference, show you how well that works. All right, so we got the hose with a half inch ID on here and let's uh, drop it down in the oil. Let, let's see if this pumps any better. I haven't pumped any oil through it. This is a clean hose, so let's take a look. See it pulling up through the hose there. That is much faster, much more efficient. I mean, that, that stream is coming out really fast. And the oil is clean too. I don't know if you can see that. What I mean by clean is it's not um, that white milky color full of air. Let's look inside here and see if you can tell the difference. I know it's hard to see with the glare there, but... Maybe you can see that. But, um... So, yeah, so I know it's hard to see in the camera with the glare there, but you could tell how much clearer the oil was inside there with this half inch ID hose because it's actually being able to pull enough oil and it's not cavitating and aerating inside there so and and that that pumps a lot faster. I'd feel a differential I'd feel you know three four or five gallon differential with this setup as a pair to the smaller hose so when you're pumping cold thick oil use a larger suction hose and this pump's going to work much better for you so yeah, we covered gear oil and, you know, there's the nitrile impeller. I mean, hopefully that answers some questions for you. If you're on the fence like I was, I didn't really have a video on YouTube that really, um, you know, helped explain this. I just bought it and took a chance. I was like, man, if that pump works for oil, that's going to save me a ton of time, you know, in the field. Not having to drag out, you know, other pumps and AC pump, you know, it's just... And, and it has. It's, it's really been a lifesaver. I can walk out to the machine, you know, if I can't get my truck close to it, and I can pump the diesel tank out, you know, like I said, if they filled it up with gas. And I've done that several times. So this has had, like I said, oil, um, lots and lots and lots of diesel, used oil, um, and even diesel with a lot of gas contamination in it, and the impeller has held up fine. And I don't flush it. Again, like I said, someone said you gotta flush it with soapy water each time you use it or your impeller's gonna be damaged. I never flush it. That's why I've got these brass ends. You see that little brass barb? Hopefully you can see it because I'm not gonna pull it out. But um, so what I do is I leave the hoses and then I'll connect them together and um, kind of roll them up in the truck so they don't leak oil everywhere. Or when I do disconnect them, I've got these brass caps that, you know, I cap off the pump and um, then plug off the hoses, you know, for storage reasons. But I don't ever clean it out. Um, so, all right. Hopefully that um, that answers some questions for you. And I don't know, maybe battery-wise, battery, battery -wise, I, I usually run it off of a 9-amp um, hour battery. Uh, right now I've got a 5-amp in there, but when I know I'm doing 15, 20 gallons, 25 gallons, 9-amp battery, it it still has full bars when I get done with it, especially a thinner hydraulic oil. So no, no issues with that at all. So yeah, five amp hour works great and nine amp hour also works great. So yeah, there it is, Milwaukee Pump, man. Um, any more questions, let me know and I'll try to answer it for you. Thanks for watching.